no idea why I look so crazy and pale this morning. It's just one of those things. I did okay over the weekend. I did get up Sunday very early and I went um, to hot yoga, which was awesome. But then keeping with my promise of trying to do different things to burn calories and um, just get my cardio going, my husband and I built a walkway on the side of our house Saturday that I had a vision of what it was gonna look like. And yes, I toted bags of concrete chips and moved stone and did tamping and all that other stuff that needed to be done to get this walkway built. And I burned a lot of calories. I know because I had my Apple Watch on the whole time. Um, Sunday, after yoga, I spent a good two hours probably, maybe not, between an hour and two hours. It felt like a, a hell of a long time. Um, power washing my deck. job I've never done that before but it was you know it took a lot and I think if anything I walked my arms because it was hard to hold the trigger on the power washer and keep going at the same time so we'll see how this week goes I've vowed to stick completely to my diet even though I have some events tomorrow night is the um, authentic empowerment summit featuring Trisha Thomas that I'm hosting for the Northwest African American Museum um, that's really the only event this week but we'll see how it goes It's Saturday, I'm trying something different today for cardio. I'm gonna do some yard cleanup. I'm actually going to, so I can make like this old house and um, have coerced my husband into helping me build a walkway to my back yard. So we'll see how this goes. Here's the before. We built a deck last year. And it just needs to be, have a walkway to it. I'll get my cardio at home. You get weights and cardio. Functional training.
Bring one of those rock bags, bag rocks, rock bags, please. That farmer's carry in action. When we do yard work, we do yard work. Actually, I think we're preparing for the zombie apocalypse. Try to be safe, y'all. using for references was from HGTV and they dug down about four inches and made a trench the length of the, the space they wanted to cover and then they filled that in with their cement base. We discovered that our land was just too hard. It's like built on some kind of rock clay on a hill. Um, so we couldn't dig down. So instead what we did was we built just a little groove to put the the siding in that you saw me hammering in and then we built up we filled it with rock above the ground level and that kind of made the base for our path the other thing is measure twice we actually made two and a half trips back to Lowe's because we needed cement rock so we filled up two two cars and then went back and filled up another because we did not have enough and we had to go back twice so get 20% more than you think you need, you can always return it, and those bags are really heavy. Um, I was joking carrying them, but each one was easily 40 pounds. Um, so that was a lot of moving. The other thing is, neighbors came by while we were building it, and we made jokes about statuary. I did not realize that it was going to start what I'm calling the Great Gnome Conflict of 2019. The next morning we woke up and we found a mysterious box on our steps. When we opened it up, we couldn't tell who they were from, but they were gnomes. And they were funny gnomes. We're calling them militia gnomes. So we placed those gnomes and we figured... It didn't take us too long to figure out that the gnomes were sent by our neighbors who have quite the sense of humor. So then we bought some and we had borrowed some tools from them. We borrowed that tamping thing and a couple of other things. And so we told them that we needed to put their tools back in their garage and we strategically placed some gnomes of our own. Now what's happening is gnomes are mysteriously appearing in our backyard and it's the great, the great gnome skirmish of 2019. I don't know how long this will continue, but they're also being sent an email. All in all, it was a fun project. Um, I got to actually get some hands on and do it myself and spend some time with my baby. Um, even though in the, in the beginning, I think he doubted my vision, but it turned out great. The walk was good.